Here we're going to take a look at uh, some Java code that lets us um, make a purchase and um, apply a tax rate uh, to the item that we purchase and uh, produce the output. And here we see we import the um, from the java.util package we import import the uh, scanner class and that allows us to uh, input uh, data uh, to our um, program. Here we see the scanner object being created using its constructor. The keyword new creates the object in memory and the object name is scan and after we do a little prompt for entering the quantity we scan for the next int so it's letting us enter an integer um, and then um, we scan for a double and it's letting us enter a uh, double it then takes those values does some calculations calculates the tax total cost and then it does output it real quickly here and then do a run. Let me adjust that so you can see the run a little bit better. I'll purchase five of the item and my unit price will be $25.82 and it produces the output and I get a subtotal of 129.1 a tax of 7.7459999 7 a bunch of 9 6 at 6 0 0.6 uh, 136 uh, 846 is the total not a very satisfactory output for a typical user um, so let's see what we can do to improve that Okay, so now I'm going to run a uh, variation, a version of the program that uh, uses the number format class to format the output. And um, I'll just run it real quick. Enter the same data that I entered before 5, uh, 25.82. And notice on the output, now I get subtotal 129.10 as opposed to 129.1. Notice how much better the tax is, $7.75, much better formatting at 6%, and um, total $136.85. Again, a much more satisfactory output for the user to, um, to see. I'll adjust that so we can take a look at the code. And what we've done now is we've done an import from the java.txt uh, package. We've, the number format class has been imported. Once we import the number format class, we uh, create uh, two objects, format1, fmt1, and fmt2. fmt1 gets a currency instant of the number format, uses the get currency instance uh, method, excuse me, of the number format class. And the uh, uh, FMT2 uses the get percent instance. And the only difference then is on the output, we are applying the FMT1, which is the currency instance, to the subtotal. We apply FMT1 to the tax. We apply FMT2 to the tax rate, which gave us that 6% output. And FMT1 gets applied to the total cost. And so now we get a much more satisfactory output for the user to view.